masak 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 <laughs> it's your girl Risa how am I doing today so today guys I have you might can't tell what this is so it is oh excuse me chitlins yellow rice and some um, dressing that my sister made for Thanksgiving and I went to go here and I want to eat them I got these things are so freaking good um I only ever eat her chitlins because she knows how to cook them um anyways so yeah I'll tell y'all a, a story about chitlins when we after we said grace but here they are chitlins yellow rice and um dressing so if you're new here welcome thank you for joining me um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified whenever i post so guys welcome and let's say our grace to be thankful for this food that some people don't have so we're gonna bow our hands and we're gonna say grace Amen. Okay, so um, when I was growing up, I grew up in like foster care for a little while till I was 18. Anyway, so long story short, <laughs> um, one of my foster parents had cooked chitlins. My first time ever, I, I never, I didn't know what it was, you know, none of that. So. She's like, oh, well, everybody's going to eat this and da 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 So I'm, all day I'm like, why is this house smelling like S-H-I-T? You know, what, what, the, what the hell is going on? Why, what's that smell? So, got time, got time to do dinner. Got time to eat. Yeah, I'm telling you, these don't taste like people. I'm telling you, they don't. I, I promise you. Mm. Let's throw her up. My sister put her feet in Nima. <laughs> it good as hell. So, I get time. We sit down at the table. And she, you know, get everybody a plate. So, I see all this. What is this? What the hell is this? Oh, y'all better eat y'all food. Da 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 da. we're gonna be on punishment so you know me well you probably yo but me listen i'm telling you i taste that crap i said you can punish me a thousand times baby carissa is not eating nobody boo boo because that's what it tastes like straight up but i ain't say boo boo i said the s-h-i-t word okay i said i'm eating that freak wrong with you you eat it she ate it, but nobody, none of the kids didn't want it. I, I didn't eat chitlin from that day till about, I want to say it was like seven years later, my sister made some. I was like, she said, I said, what you making? She said, chitlin. I said, well, I don't smell no boo-boo. Where the boo-boo at? And she was like, well, I know how to clean chitlin. I'm like, child, you the hell out of here. I don't want that. No. I don't know. I guess curiosity got the best of me. I was like, well, let me taste a little bit of it. And I was hooked from that day to this one. I don't know, y'all. That's Pepsi. It ain't hardly got that. So, y'all, from that day to this one, but I haven't had them in a long time. Like my sister, that was my first time having them, and this is like my second time having them. So, So 
tell y'all, this is my second time having them, you know. Um, but I remembered them from the first time she cooked. Have you ever had something that was like, you know, good to you? And even though you haven't had it in a long time, you still remember it, you know? That's how that's how that that's how this this was for me. So when she called me and she didn't tell me she was cooking. I heard I think I heard my niece in the background talking about mama what you what um we cooking with the turkey or something like that child. She was trying to hide it. How she know I'm greedy. Mm, thank you again. So I said, ah, girl. What you cooking? I'm trying to hide something. She talking about well I ain't cooking really. I'm just making my husband a little Thanksgiving food. I said, girl, what you, man, I, you know, asked her what she was cooking, the love. Well, he wanted some chitlins. Oh, okay, make sure you send me some. <laughs> Dressing. Oh, okay, make sure you send me some. I ain't take nothing else from my house, but the chitlins, the, um, the rice, but not this rice, because I had a previous um, plate. I had a, I had a dog that plate out, and I had dressing. That was it. She made ham, and I did taste her sweet potato pie. It was good, but I, I didn't really want nothing else but this. So, yep, yeah, that's how that story went, y'all. And I went over to her house when she was at the motel and took the rest of her chitlins and they in my freezer now. Ah! Ooh, it's hot. I'm a, Cause the first time I ate them, I didn't film. I was trying to get down with the get down, okay? <laughs> And I almost didn't film this when I said, Child, I'm hungry. I ain't got time for that. So I was like, Nah, I'm gonna let my people see my sister chitlins. Are they good? But that was the first bone I ever came across. I ain't gonna eat no chitlins plain, like with no rice or nothing. My sister put some kind of cream or something in hers. Mm -hmm. But they be so good. Yeah. Mm. And she don't just put chickens in them. It's other parts of this, the pig in him. I don't even necessarily think I want to know what are other parts in him. I want to know. I just want to eat my food. Enjoy my food. Thank you. Oh, here's another bone. It looks a kind of big bone. She usually clean. She clean her bones, but I guess she missed a couple. You missed the spot. But yeah, guys. So that's how this shipment came along. But you know, I don't eat, um, I don't eat a lot of pork. I ain't gonna say, like I said, I eat pork, but I don't eat a lot of pork. You know what I'm saying? That's pork ain't good for you. If I knew how to, um, cook this, I'd probably eat this more, which probably wouldn't be good for me because I have high blood pressure. My sister was like, he ain't going to be able to stand up and clean them because, like, you know, I got a bad back and a bad knee, so. She said it takes a lot of work to clean chickens. Mm. Oh, excuse me.
my sister ain't cooked in so long. I need to write this in the um Guinness book. For real. Be back. When it is my at least my seven, eight, nine years. She ain't cooked. So my niece Shauna, she had never tasted shit with me though. And I think my sister got her the same way she got me. I think she told us to taste it. And Shauna, my niece was like, mm -hmm. when here come out, taste it. I ain't gonna let you taste nothing. You know that's that's bad. And she tasted it, and she was hooked. <laughs> I went to go snag the bowl out the refrigerator. Somebody had done dug in. And she was the only one now. You know, her boyfriend, so Ooh, excuse me, y'all. Ooh, this soda. This is that soda. Ooh, excuse me. Ooh, excuse me, y'all. Ooh. That's a big issue. Um, so I know, but she had not fell asleep by the time I got done. But I think she had them to cut some that so I stole the bowl. And I did tell my sister I was going to get it. I ain't no I said, mm, 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 one more time, I'm going to snap you. <laughs> what y'all eating? What y'all doing today? It's boring. I'm bored. You can't really go nowhere. That's the dressing right now. That that dressing making me full. I really just want the chitlins and rice shining on that. That dressing good though, but how they say I'm trying to get down. We can get down. Because that's not good for you. She be on health kicks, child. She be killing me with her health kicks. Because she always calling me, telling me, you know, what to eat and what not to eat. Y'all got family like that? I said, yeah. I know this ain't good for you and that ain't good for you. I say by hell. Reason ain't good for you either, but you still walking around doing that. So leave me alone. Being around a whole bunch of people ain't good for you, but you still walking around doing that. Leave me alone. Let them tell them to eat a bunch of vegetables ain't all that good for you. Try eating all vegetables. And I'm probably, you're probably going to malnutrition. Your body got to eat some kind of carbs. So she say, I'm going to be a vegan. a vegan on book. I ain't finna be no damn vegan. I'm finna be eating my meat. How about that? 
last one, I'm finna be be vegan. Ain't nothing wrong with being a vegan, but just don't try to push it off on me. I don't want to be a vegan. I want to be a meat eater, just like I am. I want this, you know, when you grill up a, a, a beautiful burger, and you see all that oil glistening off of that um, ground chuck or ground beef or ground round, whatever you using. And that's what I'm talking about. You put that onion on up. <laughs> Excuse me, that cheese. Put it between them breads with some lettuce, some mayo. And that'll make you want to slap your mama. <laughs> all right, guys. I am out of here. I'm done with my food. It was so delicious, my sister. I'm trying to um, convince her to cook some for um, Christmas. I doubt it, though. But, I don't know. We'll see. We're going to pray about that, okay? <laughs> Hopefully, Shelby and I can't become vegan by the end. But, y'all, until next time, y'all, stay true, stay you, stay blessed. Um, stay prayed up. Keep God first. Know that God loves you. So, I, I am.